Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. Thank you all so much for being here. So today we're going to take a look at the new moon that's occurring on July 5th or 6th, depending on where you live in the world. We're going to take a look at each life path number and what this uh, new moon could hold in store. Before we get into the forecast, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading or forecast uh, for your own personal numerology, please go to my website and book some time with me. I would love to work with you and take a closer look. All right, so let's take a look at what this new moon is uh, has in store for us. Life Path 336, you all are going to be working with the energy of the 358 and the 369. Interesting energies here. So with the 35-8, this is going to be a time when I would say expect the unexpected. Really anything and everything can happen under this energy. This is a big, powerful type of vibration. And I would say try to sort of move the best that you can with whatever presents itself. And, you know, it can be so many different things. You might get a call that your company is moving overseas and you have to um, either find something different or move with them type of thing. Um, it, or you might find that just out of the blue, the VP is leaving and you get the the nod that they want you to take their, their place. So this is a huge, huge promotion, huge responsibility, etc. Or you might sort of be at the place where you want to leave your current job and start your own business type of thing. Um, So many things like that can kind of happen that is really trying to push and propel you towards your greater destiny, right? Um, And it can seem almost cosmic. It can seem almost like just the most bizarre things sort of happening, but happening in a way that it puts you exactly where you need to be. Uh, But your job, of course, is to say yes to it. So these things can feel almost surreal and larger than life, but can also bring sort of that, those irrational fears and the self-doubt, et cetera, that can kind of keep us stuck and keep us from saying yes to the opportunity. So I would say really feed into um, feel into your intuition, see how you feel about the situation and don't let your, you know, that sort of internal dialogue that is keeping you in a self-imposed prison. Don't allow it to keep you there. Um, if these opportunities present themselves to you, this is a great time to say, yes, take the leap of faith, go for it and see where it takes you. Um, is it going to be easy? You know, no, because usually the things that our soul wants us to do in life aren't easy. They're, you know, things that we have to prove to ourselves that we're capable of so that we can really allow ourselves to shine. And I think that you guys will have an opportunity to do that in some area of life. Uh, with this energy. Again, it's a new moon. So there's a new initiation, a new start, a fresh beginning, new insights type of thing. So, um, and it's always what we choose to do with them that makes the difference. Um, So yeah, so just see what comes in for you. And it probably will feel larger than life, especially as a 33. Um, But don't let the fear, the irrational fear keep you from saying yes. I would also say uh, just yeah, I would say as much as you can prepare to for whatever this is, you know, and what that really means is work through those irrational fears, work through those self-defeating thoughts, right? Um, and how can you sort of face those fears and overcome them so that they don't keep you stuck in a chapter that you're, you've reread 600 times and it's time to move on type of thing. The other thing I would say, of course, with this energy could bring the demand for more responsibility, right? More um, discipline type of thing. So, you know, you might find that you've got to make some adjustments, you know, so you get this big promotion, let's say, or you start at your new business. Um, that's going to require time and energy and effort and devotion. And it's going to take you away from things that you might want to be doing. And so it's really about finding that healthy balance and just know that that will come over time. It won't be instantaneous. So be gentle with yourself as you move through that. Um, and don't see it as, oh, I shouldn't have done this or I made the wrong decision because now I'm unhappy because I've got to devote all this time and energy to this because that will, that will, fluctuate, right? But that will really subside and that will even out. It'll balance out over time. So give your t- give yourself the time to adjust to the new situation, whatever that may be for you. 
And it doesn't have to, of course, be around career or business or whatever, but there's some kind of something that may come up for you that's going to require more of your attention, your focus, your your dedication that will take you away from the things that you might want to be doing. And I would say just be mindful that it's temporary. It's not long term, right? It will balance itself out. <clears throat> so don't let it deter you. <clears throat> the other thing I would say is, um, you know, you might feel more pressure as well. So how will you manage that, right? Don't let yourself get burnt out. Don't, um, don't sort of give so much of yourself that you allow yourself to be depleted. Again, it's about finding that healthy balance. I think there's a big, uh, sort of messaging here for you to continue to, you know, have that self care, you know, sink back into the more feminine side of yourself, uh, as you also, cater to and acknowledge and adhere to that more masculine side of yourself. That's the action that's the, that's going, you know, has the drive and the ambition and is going for what they want type of thing. But there really needs to be that balance. And this energy is going to help you to find that. This is also a money vibration. The 35, eight is a money vibration. So you might see again, a promotion or something coming along those lines, or you might see an investment really pay off. You might also see some kind of inheritance, uh, come through as well. Um, I would also say, again, going back to the pressures, you know, there can be a lot of pressure under this energy, a, pr a pressure to perform, a pressure, a uh, pressure to uh, prove yourself, right, or etc. And I would say, try not to let that pressure affect you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, etc. Um, do what you can do, right? Show up as you and that is enough. And, you know, find that moderation so that you're not burning out. Make sure that you allow sufficient time for self-care and for rest and for sinking into, again, that softer side so that you're not burning out uh, right away or ever. <laughs> I would say that there could be a lot of vitality that you feel at this time, like a lot of like rejuvenation and feeling alive and like really wanting to go after whatever it is that you're moving towards. And that's a great energy. And I would say definitely embrace it and utilize it for, you know, towards your advantage. Just don't let it take over you to where again, you burn out too quickly. Now with the energy of the 36, nine, this can bring up obstacles and you're really going, it's those kind of obstacles where it's like, you know, it's almost like being at a crossroads and you have to make a decision, but either decision feels right. So it's kind of that hazy kind of energy where it's hard to tell which which way to go, you know, where it's like, okay, I can see the pros on both sides. I can also see the cons on both sides. So it's almost like that energy of FOMO, like fear of missing out. So it's like, okay, if I go right, I'm going to miss out on what I want to the left. If I go left, I'm going to miss out to what I want from the right. So which do I choose? It's that kind of energy. So it can be a little bit difficult to make a decision. And we can see that sometimes as an obstacle, which it is in a sense, right? So I would say, you know, really your intuition is going to be your greatest guidepost at this time to really follow that inner guidance of what you know to be true for you in this moment and go with the greater, the one that feels more aligned, right? The greater alliance. And in doing so, you might miss out on some of the things if you take a right, right? That's over to the left, but you're not going to miss out on everything, right? You're going to gain a lot from whichever decision you make. So, you know, try to take the pressure off as much as possible when it comes to that. Um, and really follow again, your intuition. That is going to be, like I said, your greatest, greatest guidepost, you know, getting advice from others is, is probably just going to convolute the situation. So it's kind of like if you're at a crossroads and you have to make a decision, you know, going without and, getting that, seeking that advice from the external is really in this type of energy is just going to convolute it to the point where you're really not going to know what you want to do. So this is going to be a time for greater self-reflection going within really just sinking into your own needs and desires at this time, maybe journaling about it, whatever feels good for you and following that intuition. And that is going to bring you the greatest decision for you in this moment. Um, so yeah, try not to see those cro that crossroad as, or those crossroads as a burden. Um, just, you know, continue to move forward following that intuition and have confidence that the decisions that you're making are the best for you in this moment. And they will be. Um, the other thing is I would say, don't get 
Don't allow yourself to get too derailed by any challenges that come up at this time. You know, have confidence that you will overcome those, those challenges, whatever it is. And again, it's, I think there are going to be more challenges around, you know, shifts happening, right? Like, so you get the new promotion. Now you have to shift your family life and make, you know, make accommodations or whatever. And so it's just figuring out what works now, right? In this new chapter, it's figuring out, you know, that, that center space, that balance, um, and you'll find that you'll get there. It won't be probably instantaneous, but you'll get there. So give yourself that time and that grace and you'll, you'll solve the problem, whatever the problem may be. Um, the other thing I would say is it is possible for some separations, some endings and apparent losses to happen under this vibration, because, you know, when we make decisions, when we, when something new comes in, you know, there's something that has to be released. There's some changes that have to be made and there can be, yeah, that can be difficult, right? So it can create some kind of separation or ending. And what I would say is if there is a separation and ending or an, a loss under this energy, just know that those losses are occurring now, um, because you don't need them anymore. They're not, they're sort of impeding your progression forward. They're not helping that progression forward. So if something falls away at this time, allow it to go because it needs to go in order to make space for what's coming in in this new journey. So don't overburden yourself with sort of, you know, beating yourself up for what needs to fall away because the universe will make sure that what needs to fall away falls away so that you can step into what's next. Big energy, 33s. Uh, I hope it's a great one. All right, take care. Bye for now.